Happy Friday to all you Islanders. I hope you're ready for the weekend. I know that I am. We have more news today as things continue to come out regarding the Vista, masking, testing, and Royal Caribbean has changed their protocols now. We will discuss everything right now on Island Time. Welcome back, Islanders. What a week. What a week. So much has gone on that is going to impact cruising starting tomorrow, the 14th. But really, some of it was enacted immediately on the Vista. It's been a great week. I really hope that you have found our content and our community beneficial. We are going live Sunday, 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. There's so much to talk about. There's so many questions. So I'm going to be here, and I hope you are too. Sunday night, 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. We will discuss everything. Let's talk about the news because there's more news today. And we're starting to find out details and some of the punch, really the gut punch, of some of the news is wearing off. People are calming down. Tempers are calming down, which is great to see. Let's talk about the Vista, though. We have friends on the Vista right now. Of course, we just got off the Vista, July the 31st. We have several friends boarding the Vista tomorrow, and that's where the news is at. It is because it is the first Carnival Cruise Line ship to have active cases that we know of that have been reported. Um, and here's what we know. We know that on Wednesday... Wednesday was the day that the announcement was made. We had four passengers and one crew member confirm positive. That's what we know as of Wednesday. Now, Thursday, and of course, today is Friday. We have been told that no additional passengers or crew have tested positive so far as a result of contact tracing. So right now we can assume there's five cases that are known. There could be, of course, more that are unknown. But that is the number that we know of from Carnival, from the captain that was on the that's on the ship, and from our friends that have reported that to us. Um, we also know that Wednesday, when that announcement was made, that five total have COVID, that the mask announcement was also made, and we've learned about how Carnival is going to enforce this on the Vista right now and starting tomorrow. It's going to be crew members, but it's a particular group, and it totally makes sense on who's going to enforce it. It's going to be those in white shirts, black pants, and they have the word security on their back. That's right. Security is going to be standing at the entrances and the places where masks should be worn. So you will probably see... Uh, an increased number of security. You may or may not have ever even seen them on the ship, but there is a large group of crew members that are part of security. They will be at the different elevators, reminding you to wear your mask. They will be at entrances. We've heard on the Vista now, they're at the entr entrances on Lido, asking you to put on your mask. So you will see, and we have learned, that it is security, which are going to be the mask police. Please, please be nice to them. The Vista is set to return. They are on course to return at their normal time about 7 a.m. They should come into port there in Galveston. They will be secured. And this is the first time that we will see a Carnival ship enact the port agreement. If you have followed us, we have been right there the entire time and breaking down the conditional sell order and what it means for cruising. And part of that was cruise lines across the entire industry had to have port agreements with local ports where if there was an outbreak, could be small, like this, could be large. But they had to have a port agreement in place that allowed ships to come home, return home. Because you remember, March of 2020, ships were stuck at sea. Nobody wanted to take the ships that had COVID. That can't happen today. Ships have agreements where they come in place and it's already agreed upon where those who need medical services are going to go. 
where those who need to quarantine will go. There's a choice of hotels. So you will see the Vista dock tomorrow as expected, just like nothing was going on. But what, what you will also see, and you can see it via the webcams, is that port agreement and what's been agreed upon between the CDC, who approved it, Carnival Cruise Line, and the Port of Galveston, they will be using that port agreement, and that's why it was done. So it'll be interesting to see tomorrow how that unfolds. And there are so many people, including our good friend Eddie Inlow, who is going to get on the ship tomorrow to see if there's a delay. Once they get everyone off the ship, there has to be some special cleaning. We know that the guests are... Um, they're, they're on a lower deck right now. They're in rooms that were reserved as a quarantine isolation area. It was already set up that way. Carnival has these on every ship, so do other cruise lines. But it's going to be interesting to see, is there any delay tomorrow after guests disembark and the August the 7th cruise is waiting to get on board for their ship, for their cruise? Will there be a delay? That will be something to watch. It really, really will. will. Okay, let's talk about masking because there is news about masking. Hopefully this is the final thing I have about masking, but I'm going to try to give out some advice here and update us on the news. So it looks like most of us honestly have calmed down since that initial announcement that masking is going to be required starting tomorrow in some places. It seems like people, some people really did cancel. I know people who canceled. Some people were on the fence, should I cancel? And it seemed like those who were on the fence have kind of come down and said, no, this is going to be okay, and I think you've made the right decision. I made an argument yesterday of why you should still continue to cruise. I hope that helped you out just a little bit. But remember, a lot of the places that you have to wear masks can be avoided. They really can. You have to wear a mask if you're waiting uh, in a lobby or by the elevators for dinner. This can be avoided. Use the Carnival Hub app, check in how many people you have. You can be at Alchemy and check in, you can be in your room and check in, but if you have any time dining or if you're going to use it for C day, you can you can check in and they will send you an alert when your table is ready. You have 10 minutes to get there. But by doing that, you don't show up to your time dining or show up to C day brunch and have to wait. And then Put on your mask. You can avoid your mask, okay? Um, also, an elevator. Amanda and I decided on our cruise last week that we would not use the elevator. First off, you know how warm they are. Second off, you know how slow they are. And third, the COVID situation. So we took the stairs. So you can take the stairs and you can avoid wearing a mask on the elevator because you take the stairs. Additionally, we have learned who are, who are going to enforce the mask. Um, security. Security are going to in, uh, enforce masking as we've seen on the Vista, and we will see across the fleet as we mentioned earlier. And here's my final thought on mask. I was laying in bed last night thinking about this. And you have to remember, the crew are wearing masks 24 hours a day when they're working, okay? They work for 16 hours uh, sometimes, 12 hours sometimes. They're wearing their mask. And I made this comment to Amanda when we cruised last week. You never saw the crew cheat while wearing their mask. You never saw them pull it down below their nose to take a break. You never saw them wear it as a chin strap, my favorite. They wore their mask because they knew they had to wear their mask. And they did it all while working, sweating, carrying dishes, and, and serving us drinks and food. And if they can wear masks for hours a day while working, I think we can wear masks in these simple areas and for short amount of times. Because, face it, if you're shopping, it's going to be 10 minutes, 15 minutes. If you're waiting in line for the comedy show, it's going to be 10 minutes, 15 minutes. We are wearing masks for a short amount of time. We can do it. I hope you enjoy your cruise. Those of you cruising tomorrow and this month, enjoy it. You can do this. Let's talk about Royal Caribbean. Royal Caribbean, we broke the news that they were going to have testing. They announced this earlier in the week. They were going to have testing on any cruise 
longer than five days. Well, that was just this week. They have um, they've changed that. They're going to have testing on any cruise. Any cruise from Royal Caribbean, you're going to have testing beginning on August the 12th through the rest of the month. All guests sailing in the United States on the Royal Caribbean ship, regardless of vaccination status, will be required to arrive with a negative COVID test result. This new requirement applies to all links, three and four night cruises, all the way up to everything they sell. The guest, of course, has to pay for this test, just like Carnival. Remember I told you yesterday, CVS has announced free testing. You can get a free rapid test at CVS. Walgreens is doing the same in most markets. Check with Walgreens as well. Uh, the results for Royal Caribbean and Carnival can be printed out or can be digital. Yesterday, I went over everything you need to have on that test, all the information you need to have. If you missed it, go back and look at yesterday's video. There are per there's pertinent information you have to have. Here's the quote from Royal Caribbean. We sincerely apologize for the inconvenience. However, with the uh, recent increase in the Delta variant in local communities, it is a sensible additional protocol to reduce the risk of spreading of COVID-19. Every guest ages two years and up must now provide a negative PCR or antigen result taking no more than three days, the same as Carnival, before sailing regardless of vaccination status. This expands upon the testing requirement that existed for vaccinated, unvaccinated guests to create an extra layer of safety for all guests and crew. One side note, Royal Caribbean has not announced masking indoors as Carnival has. We will see if that changes. You know that we are here with you through it all. We will provide the facts. We will. We will also try to use our decade plus of cruising and th that experience to say, what does this mean? How, do, how does the news uh, make your cruise look or how may it be different? We're happy to be part of the community. We are an Islander just like you are. And we will stay on top of the news. If something else breaks, we will be here, whether it's today or tomorrow. We will for sure, though, see you Sunday night, 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time, as we go live right here on Island Time.